This is Adrian Terry, and I'm joined today by Sterling Donner, a candidate for the Edgewood Town Commission in the November 2023 election. Mr. Donner is running for re-election after serving an initial two-year term on the inaugural Town Commission following a change in the style of local government here in Edgewood. Mr. Donner, tell the community why you're running for re-election. Well, thank you, Adrian. I'm uh, happy to be here and happy to be talking with you guys. Um, I'm running for re-election because the work's not done yet. Uh, you know, two years, uh, we still have a lot. We've, we've accomplished a lot as a commission, but uh, I feel that there's a lot that still needs to be uh, accomplished here in the town, and uh, those wheels are in motion, and I'd like to see those come uh, to fruition. Now, serving in government comes with certain challenges, uh, and certainly uh, there's a steep learning curve when you first jump onto the ship. Yes. Uh, tell us about what you've learned serving as a town commissioner. Well, I've, I've learned that nothing is done quickly, uh, that there is, there is a process that has to be followed, and uh, it, it can be very time-consuming, uh, but very rewarding at the same time. Uh, I've, I've learned that uh, how to better communicate with people. Uh, I've learned how to, I've learned how a, a meeting actually flows properly, how the Roberts Rule of Order uh, works, and uh, learned a lot about myself in the process. So, I certainly know that there's been some um, angst on the town commission of late and some uh, interpersonal strife. What do you think that you can do that's within your control to try to bring harmony to the town commission with the understanding that sometimes we don't agree on how to proceed issue to issue? Yeah, uh, we have to come together as a, as a group and find some sort of common ground or middle ground. Uh, obviously you're not going to agree a hundred percent of the time, you're not going to agree maybe 75 percent of the time. But if you're able to find that middle ground with your uh, counterparts, uh, things tend to move a, a little bit easier. Uh, you mentioned what's been going on recently. It has been a lot of inner strife, and I think that has has finally started to clear up a little bit. But there's there's still, I mean, it, it, people have different personalities. There's always going to be that 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 little bit of strife, but if you can find that middle ground, it certainly uh, makes the process a little bit easier. Well, in the course of building relationships and uh, uh, trying to be friendly with one another, you still have to get stuff done. Yes. Uh, and you have a record to run on having served on the town commission. What do you feel are some of your significant accomplishments? Well, I mean, so Venus Park is probably our, one, of, one of my biggest accomplishments. and. The, uh, the commission as a whole, I was able to get $1.3 million worth of funding that is going to uh, pay for a permanent bathroom at Venus Park. Uh, I was able to form the Economic Development Advisory Board. Uh, that board has a lot of really cool things going on, like what we can do with uh, the Old Town Hall. Uh, there's the 25th anniversary celebration that they're going to be partnering with Parks and Rec on. Um, and then uh, the town has, has purchased their own road building equipment. Uh, it was a joint effort amongst all the commissioners uh, to uh, decide it was time that we get our own road making equipment so that we're not reliant on outside entities to have to build our roads for us. Uh, we will continue to seek funding for that. Uh, but I think the biggest accomplishment if I had to say, is probably Venus Park at this point. You know, 20 months in office isn't, isn't a real <laughs> long time to get a whole lot done, but uh, we, we've accomplished some amazing things as a commission. Echo Park, Echo Ridge, uh, goodness, uh, well, there's, there's a lot. So, Well, one of the things that I think is important as uh, you speak to members of the Edgewood community is to inform the people about how you think and how you deal with issues that the town may face uh, going forward in the future. If you were on a boat on the ocean yeah. and there's no land in sight, where do you set your anchor? 
what is the foundation that informs your principles and uh, frames your viewpoint about the role of local government? Well, that's, a, that's, a, that's an interesting analogy. Um, you know, if there's no solid ground uh, for a person to, to set their feet on, it's very difficult to uh, come up with that uh, foundation. So, you know, my foundation goes back to how I was raised. You know, I, I rely on uh, my counterparts, my family, you know, it's not popular opinion, but my faith. Um, you know, it. There's a lot of challenging issues out there in the world right now, and uh, I think having that that faith to lean on is is something that I uh, definitely have to set my. That's where I I, I set my feet um, in local government. Uh, it's relying on those around you that have more experience. Going and talking, getting opinions from different people, uh, is is extremely important, uh, especially ones that have been doing this for a while and understand might understand the process a little bit better than I do. Um, so that, that that's how I would find that foundation. In this election, uh, you are not running unopposed, yeah. as some other uh, commissioners are. Yeah. Uh, in your district, there are three candidates. Yes, sir. Why do you believe you're the best person for the job? Well, I, I have the experience. Um, you know, unlike my counterparts, I've had government government experience before I came into local government. Uh, I ran the business development for the Greater Albuquerque Chamber of Commerce, uh, grant writing. Uh, I, I have a ton of experience because of the Chamber of Commerce. Uh, in the chamber, I was I was the one who. Uh, sought grants for making New Mexico a little bit better, more of a business-friendly uh, place to be. Uh, we also, I also had experience going to legislative sessions and lobbying on behalf of the businesses in not just Albuquerque, but in the state of New Mexico. Uh, on top of that, I my economic development uh, experience is vast. Um, I was one of the one, me and uh, one of the other commissioners were uh, responsible for bringing uh, Champion Express here. I actually had dealings with Champion Express for them to go, they started off in Gallup to actually come to Albuquerque and, and, and grow from there when I was with the Chamber of Commerce. So uh, bringing that growth to Edgewood, that economic development mind is, is hugely important, uh, especially because there are a lot of services that the town needs. and. To be able to, to get that, we need more business here and more services here. Well, it's my opinion that the car wash is a hit. Um, that's really a nifty operation they have there. As a family man and uh, as a father with children, what's your vision for Edgewood going forward? How do you want it to look for your kids when they get older? I want them to stay here. You know, I want them, my, my kids go to school here. My kids are growing up here. Uh, Ultimately, I'd like them to stay here, have availability for jobs. The nice thing is Albuquerque isn't isn't too far away for the for the jobs. But if we could have those here, why not have them here? Um, but in order to keep my kids here, their families here, and other young families here, we need things for our kids to do. Uh, so that's why I was seeking funding for a community center uh, for the town of Edgewood. Um, there's also talks with other uh, businesses that would bring health care services, entertainment, and, and whatnot to the town that I can't really talk about right now, but uh, as it gets closer uh, to fruition, uh, I will definitely let the community know. But uh, my vision for Edgewood is kind of keep that, try to keep that rural character that we have, that outdoor lifestyle that so many of us that drew us all here. Uh, but still have the resources and the services that we can go out and and, and enjoy the town, trails, uh, everything. So. Mr. Donner, thank you for your work so far. Thank you. And thank you for sharing. Thank you.